Now at 4.30, the family of a Lancaster toddler who died of a fentanyl overdose now is filing a lawsuit against the L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services. The child died after ingesting the drug at his home. The family claims the child should have been removed from the home because of his mother's alleged drug use. The details are shocking, more so because in this case, the supervisor trusted with the responsibility of looking out for these children was allegedly there for a drug-fueled bender. 2013, Gabriel Fernandez, 8 years old. 2018, Anthony Avalos, 10 years old. 2019, Noah Quattro, 4 years old. All innocent young children dying under the eye of L.A. County Department of Child and Family Services. Now, there's another name on that list, Justin Bully, 17 months old, dead from fentanyl. He died while in the presence of his mother, grandfather, and DCFS supervisor at a Lancaster home in February. How in the world could this happen? Well, there's one answer, because we have a pathetic L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services in Lancaster. The family's attorney, Brian Claypool, held a news conference revealing details surrounding the death that are disturbing, including red flags involving baby Justin's mother, Jessica Darthard. Dating back to 2006, mom had a, had a first strike in California for shooting a gun into an occupied dwelling. That crime in and of itself should have deprived this woman from caring for children. According to Claypool, these are two other instances. Dart Hard's boyfriend died of a fentanyl overdose in front of her four children. And she went to jail for a DUI after crashing her car into the back of a big rig. Children in the car, including baby Justin, out of a car seat. Then, the night of baby Justin's death, the social worker assigned to supervise the family was at the home with her own children, while Dart Hard and her father did drugs and drank alcohol. It was only a matter of time before at least one child died at the hands of this mother. There were six other kids in the home when Justin died. There could have been another six children dead. According to the damning allegations, Claypool says the supervisor was Dart Hard's friend. He described what happened when the DCFS supervisor realized baby Justin was dead. The woman appointed by the county is at the scene of the death. And what does she do? She doesn't step in and try to save these kids. She doesn't pull these kids out of that house. When the paramedics show up at that house, what does that DCFS visitation supervisor do? She does a 360, runs out of the house with her kids, but guess what? The cops found her later that day. And you know what they did? They tested her three kids. All had fentanyl in their system. An autopsy report shows baby Justin died from ingesting 25 times the lethal amount of fentanyl. The family announced an intent to sue L.A. County DCFS for $65 million on behalf of the father and the other siblings who lawyers say suffered years of abuse and neglect. I was devastated. You know, I, I didn't understand. You know, I get that phone call. Who calls with, who gets a phone call like that? I didn't know what to do. I was just in shock. Hopefully they can change the system. You know, I don't know all the right answers, but I would like a, a, a full investigation. We reached out to DCFS for a comment. A spokesperson said the department does not comment on pending litigation. Also just wanted to note, Claypool said you might expect to see a few more filings for more deaths of children that were under the supervision of DCFS in the coming months. Mm -hmm.